In a decisive move, Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc announced that the Canadian government has officially designated the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, as a terrorist organization. This bold stance underscores Canada's unwavering commitment to combating terrorism, defending human rights, and preserving global stability. Today, I'm here to announce that our government has made the decision to list the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist entity under the criminal code. This action sends a strong message that Canada will use all of the tools at its disposal to combat the terrorist entity of the IRGC. The Iranian regime has consistently displayed disregard for human rights, both inside and outside of Iran, as well as a willingness to destabilize the international rules-based order. Our government will ensure that there is no immunity for Iran's unlawful actions and its support of terrorism. Emphasizing the paramount importance of national security, this designation aligns with conservative principles that prioritize citizen protection and uphold a zero-tolerance policy towards terrorism. By labeling the IRGC as a terrorist entity, Canada takes a necessary step to shield itself from potential threats, curtail support for terrorism, and ensure accountability for those involved in such activities. This action is a testament to Canada's deep respect for human rights and dedication to maintaining international order. The IRGC's involvement in numerous human rights abuses and efforts to destabilize the global community cannot be ignored. By taking this stance, Canada sends a powerful message. It stands firmly against regimes that perpetrate human rights violations and disturb global peace. This designation reinforces Canada's unwavering commitment to justice and security, affirming its role as a defender of both its citizens and international harmony.